Okay, let's hurry up and get in there. It's really great that Maddie's going to be able to have a technique private. Plie flex, feet, feet. See that hip up, feet. I know that Melissa is worried about Maddie not doing solo. I know she cannot stand it that her kid is not the center of my attention. I get that. Seven, eight, stretch back through your shoulders, but I am not giving in. Maddie has to want it. You didn't have a solo last week. You don't have a solo this week. You need to have that fire back in you. You love to dance, and I know that. Of course, I started to cry because she loves Miss Abby. They do have this special thing. I never had that with a teacher. But ever since New Jersey and you exited that stage, you're not the same Maddie. I don't see that fire in you. You have to show us that you want it bad. You know that. Hey, Mom, please cry. <laughs> she loves to be here. You know that. You know, I love you. I know. And when those women say bad things about you, it hurts my heart, and it hurts Maddie's heart, too. And I just walked right out of the room. I was like, I'm embarrassed, so I need to leave. These mothers, the way they talk to you, I think it's awful how these kids disrespect you, too. Chloe rolls her eyes in class all the time. I know. I what know. I'm upset about is that Chloe leaves class early all the time. On Monday, she went to the doctors, and Kelly, Christy's so-called best friend, which they're not, called me and said, oh, Christy's taking Chloe out of school early today, take her to the doctors, and then she's taking her to the movies. Melissa, don't worry about these three mothers that don't know the right foot from the left. Who cares what they think? They're just jealous of our relationship, and they got to get over it. They, you know, it that has nothing to do with Maddie. I know that. But, but always remember, I have her best interests. You always have my daughter. Where did she go? She better be somewhere working on those feet and not playing around.